We're still easing into 2016, but it is evident that the economy is not looking too good in South Africa. And with the interest rates spiking, we ask the question, how does this impact the property market? Well, here to answer all our questions is private property CEO Simon Bray. Simon, in times like this, I'm so happy that you're here this morning. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> I don't know if I can do anything about it, but I can certainly uh, try. Now, you know what? There is a lot of negativity over the past few months with regards to our economy, with regards to the RAND falling to all-time lows. Mm. How does this affect where we stand right now, the RAND's dramatic fall against the dollar? What does it mean for the property market? I mean, the property market is one of the biggest sectors of the economy. So it's really stimulated by the growth of the economy or the contraction. And yeah. a lot of the economists are you know, preaching a bit of doom and gloom. They're talking about the economy really struggling to grow. Mm. Uh, you know, you're seeing some stronger economies, particularly in the States and Europe, doing really well. Uh, and South Africa is not doing very well. Um, as you said, the, uh, the RAND has taken a real beating over the last little while and that has an impact on property, but most notably it has an impact on affordability mm. uh, for various people in the market. You know, you and I will have less money in our pocket, uh, prices of food, prices of luxury items, they get more and more expensive. Uh, and so that makes it difficult for us to be able to afford the basics like mm. uh, the roof over our head. I feel like I just want to curl into a ball and cry, right? Now, it all seems really bleak, but is there an upside to, to the whole property market situation? Uh, I mean, there are plenty of silver linings. Mm. Uh, property is a great business, I guess, from that respect, because it's either a buyer's market or a seller's market. And I think we've had quite a robust market over the last uh, year and a half, two years. Sellers have been seeing their prices slowly going up, slowly strengthening and it's been more and more difficult to find something in the market as a buyer. Yeah. Uh, this year, I think it's going to be an exciting year for buyers. So those buyers that have you know, built a little nest egg, yeah. they've got a deposit together, uh, they've got good income, they're going to find nice deals in the market. They're going to be good opportunities for them to buy. Mm. Uh, so there's always a silver lining on that side. And of course, the lower our RAND goes, the more yeah. foreign buyers are interested in our country. Uh, South African property is still a great investment. Mm. We've got some of the most beautiful places uh, to live anywhere in the world. And uh, the price for those homes relative uh, to homes overseas yeah. is just getting better and better. Yeah. I mean, an example would be uh, a single bedroom flat in Knightsbridge in London is equivalent cost of a 20 million rand home here in Bishop's Court. Sure. So, you know, you're getting beautiful, uh, yeah. lovely gardens, beautiful home, yeah. uh, and estate type living. Basically laughing all the way to the bank, that's no, what's exactly, happening. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Unfortunately, there's no great news for the South yeah. African buyers in that. Yeah. But if you're trading property and uh, you've got a couple of investments, uh, you could look at the foreign market as opportunity to sell. Now, we've already had one interest rate hike. Do you think there'll be any more? And what will the effect of those hikes be? Well, the interest rate, what does it mean to an ordinary person? You know, it's, uh, everyone talks it up in the media, everyone's like, oh, the interest rate's gone up. But what it basically means is your cost of credit, your ability to get a home loan, just gets that much more expensive. The mm -hmm. banks charge you more for the same credit. Uh, and so that's a little bit difficult. It means your affordability changes, the homes that you can afford to buy, perhaps your budget and mm -hmm. your, your idea of what it is that you want to purchase needs to come in line. Yeah. Um, but the interest rate is scheduled to go up okay. slowly during the year. I think it caught a lot of people off guard that it went up as quickly as it did mm. in January. But um, hopefully we don't see it rise too quickly. Yeah, talking about quickly, I want to ask you this very quickly. In a very tough market, which areas do you think are going to hold up best? Well, that's the exciting thing about a tough economic environment. There are going to be pockets of the market that do really well. So okay. property search and finding the right property becomes really, really important. It's not like the whole market's going to do well. So websites like ours are a great place to go and find the right deals. Uh, you want to look for those ends of the market that are very popular. You want to look uh, particularly sectional title developments, mm -hmm. so flats, apartments, complexes, and those areas that are close to CBDs. Yeah. So Santon in, in Gauteng, uh, you know, if you're looking in the Western Cape, City Bowl is still yeah. a really great option. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, Schlange is a booming area in KZN. Oh, so you want to look for those high density areas. Wonderful. That's why we're happy you here. Hashtag winning. <laughs> awesome stuff. We'll be chatting to you again next week. Thank Thanks you so much, much Simon. Thanks. Well, we might all be feeling it in our pockets, but let's try and keep it positive and see where the opportunities arise when it comes to our properties. For more advice, visit www.privateproperty.co.za.